One of the biggest problems I see that many uh, female entrepreneurs are struggling with is finding leads. Um, my name is Tine Karense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business. And I know this because I have a Facebook group and I always ask women when they enter the group, what is your, the biggest issue in your business? And half of the time, this is the issue, finding leads. Now I'm going to give you some tips on how to find leads and what not to do when you want to find leads. So there is a big difference between hope marketing and consistency. And what I see many women do, and I was no different, I had a system and that was public speaking, doing uh, an offer to talk to me and help them make an analysis of their business, which was uh, after the presentation. So I scheduled a different call with them. They had to answer some questions, so therefore I could qualify them. And are they my clients? Yes or no? And then I would have a conversation. I helped solve them some problems and I offered. And then they decided yes or no. They wanted to work with me. But then COVID hit and all my public speaking arrangements were cancelled. And I feel, yes, I am invited as a speaker on summits and online events. But the connection I have with my audience and how they perceive me is completely different than when it's in an offline setting. So I had to change my strategies. And lead generation is a strategy. And there are many ways on how to find leads. And what I've noticed, um, hope marketing is not going to work. And what I mean by hope marketing is going into various groups, commenting and hoping people will reach out to you. Um, sending out emails with valuable content and hoping that people will um, contact you. Uh, doing the same on social media, sending out messages, sending valuable content and hoping that people will contact you. That's what I mean by hope marketing and I have been doing that for years and I was really frustrated about it because it's a lot of work and it's not scalable because you never know when somebody is going to contact you so you need to be you, it needs to be the other way around you need to be in control and you need to be out there starting to engage with people so how you do that you do that not with your messages but you do that in the inbox of your social media profile and that's what we've been starting to do that's how we've been able to grow our uh, facebook group now with 30 to 50 people every week and that's also how I am now talking to at least two, three different people every week where I can help them and where I, um, if, if they are my ideal client, I give them an offer. And since I started doing this, I already have the turnover, which I had over the whole year. And we're talking about mid-March now, last year. Uh, I now already have the turnover I had the whole year last year. So that was 12 months. Now we're only two and a half months away. So this is a strategy that works. And I've decided that I am going to offer this to include this to my next clients. Um, so when somebody starts to work with me, we will promise them to have a certain amount of calls. So you are going to talk to your ideal client in a conversation and I'll help you to create your sales pitch. I will help you to create your um, sales story and how to convert and close. That's just another service I'm going to add now to uh, whenever I help women to scale and grow. Um, so there is a difference between a strategy Consistency, doing something every day, day by day by day by day, is you need to either talk to people on the phone, on Zoom, or any other online platform, or in writing uh, in the inbox of your social media cha uh, channels. And that's something you need to do every day. 
And yes, that is a lot of work, um, but it does pay off. And yes, there are people who don't like it when you start to engage with them and try to have a call with them. So the languaging is important, of course. And for you, it's also important to filter who you are going to have a conversation with. So if they're not your ideal client, you don't have a conversation. And that's what you do when you start to engage with those people. Now, I know there are coaches who sell you this strategy. <clears throat> I've just explained it to you. So there's no need to pay thousands of dollars um, for three messages that they are going to give you the template about. You just need to start and figure it out yourself. What works, what doesn't work. And if you become my one-on-one -on -one client, we will do it for you. Now that's great, isn't it? So if you want to have a conversation, uh, just um, reply to the email where this video is or send me an email. Uh, the email is at the back of the video, at the end of the video, and I might talk to you soon. And otherwise, I will help and inspire you again in the weekly video next week. Bye-bye for now, and go for it.